Do you want to turn from a beginner to an expert in ChatGPT? Welcome to the fascinating world of Generative Pre-Trained Transformers or ChatGPT, a remarkable innovation in the realm of artificial intelligence. This video is your ticket to mastering ChatGPT, with 7 tips that will take you from novice to pro. We'll explore how to access the internet via ChatGPT without needing a Plus account, learn anything you want using this powerful tool, and transform your prompts from average to exceptional. We'll delve into the PTF technique for simple prompts and unveil a secret trick that yields superior results. We'll also discuss how to create different agents within GPT chat, rename your chats for easy access, reverse engineer prompts, edit original prompts, format within chat GPT, and use the markdown language. Ready to dive into the world of chat GPT? Let's get started. Our first tip is about creating different agents within the chat GPT. You might wonder why bother? Well, it's all about organization and specialization. When you create separate agents for different tasks, you streamline your chat experience and maximize the potential of ChatGPT. Think of it as having a team of specialists at your disposal. You could have an agent who's an expert in Twitter trends, another who knows the ins and outs of marketing, perhaps one who keeps up with the latest health news, or even an agent who's on top of social media dynamics. Each agent, with its unique focus, not only helps you stay organized, but also delivers more accurate and relevant responses. So if you're juggling several roles or need insights from various domains, creating different agents can be a game changer. So remember, organization is key in mastering ChatGPT. The second tip is about renaming your chats. Now why would you want to rename your chats, you might ask? Well, it's all about making your life easier. When you've got numerous chats going on, it can get confusing to keep track of them all. Enter chat renaming. It's a simple step, but it can do wonders for your organization. Here's how you do it. You see that little pencil icon? Click on it. This will open up an editable field where you can type in the new name for your chat. Now, a pro tip here. Consider using brackets in your chat names. Why brackets? They provide a visual cue that makes it easier to discern what the chat is about. So, for instance, you could rename your chat as OR. Remember, a well-named chat is not just about aesthetics, it's about efficiency. A well-named chat is a well-organized chat. Are you unsure of which prompt to use? No worries, our third tip has you covered. Let's dive into the concept of reverse engineering prompts. This process can be a game changer when you're feeling stuck or unsure. Here's how to do it. Imagine you're an expert in crafting prompts. You're seeking assistance in creating the perfect prompt to produce a specific result. What do you do? You paste in the result you want directly into the chat. This is your desired outcome. By doing this, you're asking GPT Chat to help you create a prompt that would generate this exact result. It's like asking a chef for a recipe based on a delicious dish you just tasted. So next time you're unsure what to ask, remember this tip. Don't be afraid to reverse engineer your prompts. It's like having a secret weapon in your chat GPT arsenal. Remember, when in doubt, reverse engineer. Our fourth tip is about editing your original prompts. One of the fantastic features of ChatGPT is the ability to refine and reshape your original prompts. This can lead to a variety of different results. So, how can you do this? It's simple. Look for the little button that allows you to edit your prompt. Once you click on it, you'll be able to add more detail to your original idea. For instance, if your initial prompt was about the history of jazz music, you could edit it to be the influence of jazz music in the 1920s Harlem Renaissance. This slight tweak can produce a completely different outcome. The beauty of this feature is that it encourages creativity and exploration. You have the freedom to tweak and twist your prompts until they generate the exact results you're after. So don't be afraid to edit and experiment with your prompts. Our fifth tip involves formatting within GPT Chat. Now, let's dive into the wonderful world of formatting. Formatting is one of the most powerful features of Chat GPT allowing you to organize and structure your text in the way that suits your needs best. And we're not just talking about bolds and italics here. GPT can handle tables and even transform slides into a table with suggested images. Imagine you've been working on a presentation and you've got all your slides laid out. But then, you realize that you need to present this information in a more condensed and organized manner. With GPT Chat, you can do this effortlessly. All you need to do is command chat GPT to transform all your slides into a table. You might be thinking, but how do I do that? Well, it's as simple as this. You just take the text that was created for your slides and ask chat GPT to transform it into a table with suggested images. You can say something like, transform the slides into a table with suggested images. And voila, 
GPT chat will do the work for you. But here's the kicker. You're not just limited to tables. You can format your text in any way that you want. You can create lists, headers, subheaders, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. The key to mastering formatting within GPT is practice. The more you experiment with different formatting options, the better you'll get at using them. And remember, there's no right or wrong way to format. It's all about what works best for you and your needs. So don't be afraid to play around with formatting. It's a powerful tool that can help you organize your thoughts, present information in a clear and concise manner, and ultimately get the most out of your chat GPT experience. Remember, Formatting is your friend when using ChatGPT. Our final tip will introduce you to the Markdown language. What is Markdown language, you ask? Well, it's a simple text-based language used for formatting. It's widely used across the web. And guess what? You can also use it in ChatGPT. Markdown language is incredibly user-friendly. You don't need to be a coding whiz to use it. Think of it as an easy way to add style to your text, like making a word bold or creating a list without needing to dive into complex coding. Let's dive into an example. Say you want to create a list in your GPT. With Markdown language, it's as simple as adding an asterisk or a dash before each item. So if you want to list out your favorite fruits, you would simply type asterisk, space, and then the name of the fruit. Repeat this for every item you want to include in your list. But what if you want to create a numbered list instead? No problem. Simply replace the asterisk or dash with a number followed by a period. So if you were ranking your top three favorite movies, you would type one, period, space, and then the movie title. Repeat this for each item, remembering to increase the number by one for each subsequent item. You might be wondering why would you need to use Markdown language in GPT chat? Well, Markdown language can help you organize your thoughts, make your text easier to read, and even guide the AI to better understand your prompts. For instance, if you're asking the AI to generate a list of ideas, using Markdown language to format your request as a list can help the AI understand exactly what you're looking for. It's all about clarity and precision, and Markdown language is a powerful tool to achieve that. And that's our last tip. Now you're ready to take your GPT skills to the next level. Let's quickly recap the seven tips we discussed today. We started off by emphasizing the importance of creating different agents within ChatGPT, each tailored to serve a specific function. We then moved on to discuss renaming chats for easy identification, a simple yet effective organizational trick. Our third tip focused on reverse engineering prompts when you're unsure what to use, essentially letting GPT guide you in crafting the perfect prompt. We also highlighted the value of editing your original prompt, a function that allows you to add more details, thus generating different results. We explored the versatility of ChatGPT, demonstrating how you can format within the chat to create tables or lists. Lastly, we shared the power of using Markdown Language, a tool that can help you create detailed lists and reference them in future prompts. Thank you for joining us today. We hope these tips help you become an expert in ChatGPT. Until next time.